Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint water droplets in watercolor. So we're going to be painting something like this. The effect is really cool. It's a little bit more time consuming to paint every single drop, but at the end, you'll be super happy with the way it looks. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Vanessa. I'm a watercolor artist and an artisanal handmade watercolor paint maker. If you like what you see today, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight to the tutorial. For this tutorial, I used a sheet of Arteza Expert watercolor paper, a one inch flat brush from Princeton Velvet Touch, a 20 inch round brush from Princeton Snap, a four inch round brush from Princeton Heritage, a small detail brush from Arteza, a pencil, and a bottle of Copic Opaque White. We'll begin by adding a soft background to your paper, so fully saturate your paper with water. Begin tapping in a single light layer of any color of your choosing, for my example, I used Turquoise by White Knights. Alternate tapping in plain water to dilute any heavy spots of paint. Make sure your background is completely dry before moving on to the next step. Pencil in a circle or an oval, it doesn't have to be perfect. Wet the inside of the circle and try to stay inside of the lines. Add some paint to the top of the circle. This is where the shadow is going to be, so you wanna make sure to get it as dark as possible. Go over it a few times in order to deepen the color. Go back in with a clean brush and blend the bottom edges out. Blend the edges until you get to the very bottom of the circle. You want to have a nice gradient color from the top to the bottom. If the top of your circle becomes too light, add some more color to bring in more depth. While your circle is still wet, add some white to the bottom to bring in some light. Since the circle is wet, the white will spread a little and that's okay. That's the effect that we want. It's going to help with the gradient. So with a clean brush, go back in and blend out the edges. Allow the circle to dry just a little, a few seconds will work, and then go back in with the white in a higher concentration along the bottom edge of that circle. Mm -hmm. 
Allow the very bottom edge to dry a little before going in to add some shadow. To add the shadow, we are going to go in with the same color with a very saturated brush. So make sure to load your brush up with color and add a very deep, dark shadow. You can always go in and layer that color if your shadow is not dark enough. So allow it to dry and then go back in with a second layer. To finish it off, we are going to add a couple of highlights to the very top of the circle and um, add a couple of dots of very bright white. So here I'm going to show you another example of a droplet in a different shape and um, the same rules will apply. Dark at the top, light at the bottom, very dark shadow with a highlight. If your pencil marks are showing through some of the circles or some of your shapes, I would suggest you go in once the shape is fully dry and outline it with a very small detail brush and outline it just a little bit darker than the actual circle itself. This will help, um, this will help it pop out from the page.
So how did you do? Did you enjoy it? I know this was a little bit more time consuming than a normal painting, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. So here's my final piece. Um, you saw this in, in the very beginning. I put water droplets all over. I really do uh, love the way that it turned out. So if you liked it, again, please consider giving this uh, video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon account where I do weekly tutorials, live paintings with my patrons, give coloring pages, watercolor paint, all that good stuff. So I'll leave the link for that down below. You can join for as little as $5 a month. And I hope that you really enjoyed this one. I will see you all next week.